Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I can really do right now, as far as just, uh, exploring. There might be a few things here and there that I could potentially get. But I think what I'm really going to do now is I really need to focus on doing some cooking. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm probably going to head to... Actually, I better do it here. But, uh, man, this is, this is hard because I have, like, so many items right now. And I can't really bring out items or switch out items. So, uh, this is going to be a bit of a process. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut footage here and then I'll try to come up with some kind of plan and then I'll just do some cooking and then after I finish up my cooking spree I'll probably end this recording session and starting fresh the first thing I'll do is I'll uh, do my little tour of flop side so I can just get acquainted with all the different things you can do here. Uh, so yeah, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so I know where to start, but first I think we gotta introduce ourselves to this lovely lady right here. Her name is Delish. You will eat now, Schnitzel. This is cooking laboratory called Hot Fron. Here we grab flavor and we spank it. You bring two ingredients, and then we make treats so tasty you cry like baby. And now we cook for you. First ingredient now. Oh god, uh, I don't even know where to start here. Uh, but I have found a way to start because I believe Peachy Peach and Keel Mango will get something. So let me uh, just verify that really quick. Okay, yes, I was correct. So let's get the Keel Mango and the Peachy Peach. And let's see what we actually get from her. Slice and simmer now. We must bake. Okay. <laughs> so we have the fruity punch. Very fruity sweets. Restores 15 HP and cures poison. Pretty much like all uh, <laughs> freaking healing items. They seem to do both. So now that I've made that, I actually do have room in my inventory. Not much, but I have a start of having room in my inventory so I can start figuring things out here. Uh, so yeah, I'll be doing a lot of switching back and forth from Delish and Saffron. I'll be, of course, cutting all of it out just to make sure it flows smooth enough. And hopefully I can get some more room in my inventory finally. So yeah, let's get things going. Okay, so next thing I'm going to make, I'm going to start with a big egg and then do a fire burst. It should actually be kind of similar to an item that you get in the other Paper Mario games. And you combine those two specific items, or similar items, anyway. But we have the Egg Bomb. Toss at your enemies to inflict hot, eggy destruction. Okay, next up, I'm actually going to combine two Saffron recipes together. We're going to combine the fr fried shroom plate and the spaghetti plate. And this will give us uh, probably something better than those two recipes. Or we'll see anyway. We'll see if that's the case. But we have the Delish Lunch, which heals 20 HP and cures poison. So, yeah, sometimes you'll have to combine some recipes with other recipes to get new recipes. That's just the way of life, I suppose. Okay, next up, I'm going to take a Peachy Peach and combine it with a Snow Cone that we made earlier. And this should give us something interesting. Literally, I'm just going down my recipe list and combining stuff. Which has been working pretty well. But here we have a Fruit Parfait. Fruity ice cream that can be used on enemies. Ooh, interesting. Next, we're going to take a overdose of honey by combining a honey jar with a honey candy. I know that might seem weird, but that is supposed to be a recipe. And again, there might be other ways to make recipes. They're like, again, with all the substitutes and stuff of that nature. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Well, that works, I guess. So here we have a heavy meal, which I guess is a bad item. 
A gooey mess that makes you feel sluggish. Okay, so apparently it's a bad recipe, but it's a recipe, so it's something, I guess. Okay, next up, we're going to use a turtly leaf with a horsetail. And this will give us a Koopa Pilaf. Zesty Koopa Cuisine. Halves damage taken temporarily, so... Bit of a defensive item, I guess you could say. Okay, next up, we're going to use a fresh pasta bunch with a turtly leaf. This should be a familiar one, because I believe you can make this in other Paper Mario games. Because now we have the Koopasta dish. So hooray for that. Okay, I feel like we have another bad recipe coming, because we're going to use another fried shroom plate with a poison shroom. And just for reference, uh, fried shroom plate, I believe, is just uh, shroom shake from uh, saffron. So that's really all it is. So yeah, this is going to be another bad one. Here we have the Odd Dinner, a dodgy dish that restores 2 HP and cures poison. Huh, interesting. It doesn't seem like that bad. I mean, not great, but it does something, I guess. Okay, I am back for Saffron for some very quick one-offs I still have to do. Uh, first up, we have the Sap Soup, which is the very random item that I found from the Floro Sapiens. I also found out that apparently the uh, the mystery box item that I used during Chapter 5, apparently that does actually give you an item, so I shouldn't have used that. But I think I'll be able to find it again at some point. Uh, so yeah, we have the Sap Syrup. I didn't really see what it did, but I'll check it in a second. A strangely named Syrup with even stranger effects. Briefly halves damage taken and slowly regenerates HP. Made with a Sap... Okay, well that's something I guess. Uh, next up, we have the Keel Mango. And I believe this will actually create a item that's similar to another item that we've made in the past. That I could combine it to make another item with, so... <laughs> that's interesting. Here we have the Mango Juice. And finally, we have that very weird item that we found, the Primordial Fruit. Surely that'll be able to give us something interesting. And this will give us a town special. Downtown of Crag specialty it fills 5 HP and cures poison. So there we go. So yeah, there's uh, three more for saffron. Mango juice is just 10 HP. Uh, but yeah, so we got some stuff from here. Uh, next up, uh, well, I guess I'm going back to Stilish again. Okay, I think these are going to be the last five recipes I make, unless I find something cool from Flim. But anyway, I have five more I'm going to make. I have all the items here. Uh, first up, I bought an Ice Storm from uh, the uh, Flipside shop. And I bought a Shroom Shake. I spent a lot of coins buying shroom shakes, which are 30 coins, which honestly I think is actually pretty expensive for uh, a pretty standard healing item, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, so if you combine that uh, ice storm with a shroom shake, you get space food. Uh, we've seen space food before. You can find it in the wild, somehow. I don't know why, but you can. Uh, next one I'm going to do, I'm going to do Primordial Fruit. This is one of the Primordial fu Fruits I found. With a Shroom Shake. This will give us a Primordial Dinner. Looks really, really weird, but that's what it is. Uh, next time, or next, we'll combine... Spicy Soup. With a shroom shake, I believe that's right. Yeah, that's right. Again, getting all these basic ones out of the way, I suppose you could say. And you get the delish breakfast. Heals 15 HP and cures poison, that's pretty good. 
next, I'm gonna do a Shroom Shake and a Fire Burst. Pretty much the basic healing item and the basic attacking item. And you get the Emergency Ration. Chomp in case of emergency, and it cures 10 HP and cures poison. That's pretty much all it does. And there you go. And finally, we're going to take our good old peach juice and our good old mango juice, mix them together, and get something amazing. And there we get a mix shake which is actually pretty good. Uh, so yeah, those are all the, um, basically all the recipes I'm gonna make right now. I'll probably make more as time goes on. Uh, but before I do anything, uh, well I should probably put these away first. Uh, but where do I wanna go? I think I wanna go down. I wanna go down twice. So we can see our good friend Flim. I think I'll also showcase the Eddie Bitch shop that's there and see if there's anything good I can get there. Because, again, there might be, like, again, more stuff I can combine with other stuff. Oh my god, Captain Gills is getting huge. Uh, <laughs> He's definitely growing throughout this game, for sure. So what do we have? We have, ooh, a big Meow card. Definitely gonna get that. I'm running low on coins, but again, I have all those meteor meals I can sell, so... I think I have two in my inventory right now, as it is. And again, we have some other good items here, too. I'm almost thinking about getting the pal block, because the pal block will give us a recipe item. Uh, but I think I'm gonna... I'm definitely gonna go for the big egg, because big egg, there will always be a need for that. That's a very common recipe item. And, uh, honestly, I get another shooting star to make another meteor meal, honestly. Because, again, buying this here, even though it is 120 coins, I will get an 80 coin profit when I make it a meteor meal. So, that will always be something. But, yeah, there will be a recipe with the pal block. So, I think I am going to go ahead and grab that. Because I have not seen a pal block this entire game. It could be, like, a, a shop item, though, so there's probably a reason why I haven't seen it. I uh, don't know if I want to buy the Golden Leaf, though. Not really sure. I think there is a recipe that uses it, but I think I might be able to find it somewhere. Oh, yeah, I will. Oh, yeah, there's a for sure way I'll get it, so there's no reason to get it. And I only need one through the whole game anyway, so it's like not even bother with the golden leaf. But I will get the shooting star though, just to get some easy money. And like I said, <clears throat> go over here so we can showcase the itty bitch shop. I don't know if I'll showcase all of them. Maybe like in the recipe episode I'll go over which each of one has or something. What do we got here? Oh, we have cake mix, big egg, and honey jar. Really, really solid ingredients here. In fact, I could probably use a few cake mix because that'll definitely get me a few recipes as it is. Because, yeah, cake mix is definitely an item you want to get a lot of. Uh, can I get another one? Yep. In fact, I think I've got a third one, too. Oh. <laughs> so I got another one for free because I got 10 points. Okay, well that's funny. Okay, well there we go. Well, thanks, Flynn. Thanks for all the help. You pretty much got rid of all my coins, but I'll also be getting a lot of... Gills killed! He murdered! Ugh. So much for our hero. 
More like our frickin' murderer fish that we have. My god. Like, I'm scared for my life right now, honestly. At this rate, yeah, I am. Uh, but yeah, we have another recipe, so let's go ahead. Uh, pal block. Let me just verify that this is something. Yes, it is. Okay, we'll put the pal block in. God, we only have like five more saffron recipes. I feel like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a uh, seven, but still close. So here we have the Megaton Dinner surprising meal shakes the ground and damages enemies. Okay, that's something. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Well, um, I'll get back to you when I'm at the next point of interest. Okay, I'm back, and I seriously feel like I'm going insane with making recipes, but whatever. First up, I'm going to use a Super Shroom Shake with a Cake Mix. Because I just went wild with Cake Mix and bought a whole bunch and then got one for free. That's just the way the world works, I guess. But yeah, Cake Mix is probably like one of the more like required items for cooking anyway, so it's not a big deal. So here we got a Shroom Cake, which is pretty cool. Next up, we're going to actually get a really cool item combining two delish recipes. going to combine the delish breakfast with the egg bomb. And this will give us the delish dynamite. This lady's cooking is bombastic. Burns enemies. So yeah, very, very threatening item. Kind of reminds me of the Zest Dynamite from uh, Thousand Year Door. Uh, but next we have going to take a Horsetail. Going to combine it with that cake mix. I know that might seem like a weird combination, but I assure you it works. I have it in my notes that it does, so uh, hopefully I was not wrong. Otherwise, we'd be in a world of weirdness. We have the Horsetail Tart. And finally, hopefully this is the last recipe we'll do for this video, because I've seriously just been on a cooking rampage right now. I'm going to use the Keel Mango and Big Egg. And we're going to get the Mango Pudding. So this should get me up to, I want to say, 45? Let me verify that. 45. Okay, I think that's a good place to stop. I feel like at the end of every chapter, like, now that we have Dottie, we pretty much have access to a lot of recipes, so I think after the next chapter, coins permitting, obviously, I should just try to uh, just go around and get as many recipes done as possible, and then just kind of get kind of focused with all I have. That might be a good idea. Because as you can see from my coin count, I basically sold all those shooting, or the meteor meals I had. So I'm back over to like almost 800 coins. So I'm doing pretty okay with that. Uh, but I think I am going to probably uh, stop the recording here for right now. Because I do have a lot of item management I have to do off camera. And I really just need to stop recording in general. So uh, next time, I will be doing my tour of Flopside. And after that, we'll... Uh, get chapter six started and then potentially finished as well so this has been slim kirby thanks for watching everybody i'll see you guys next time later folks thank god we're back everybody slim kirby here uh welcome back to more of the super paper mario playthrough uh it's actually been a while since i've last recorded this game uh this is uh after i got my computer back from the giant uh computer or not computer but the giant's project hiatus on my channel uh, but anyway we are back and we're going to continue on with more of this game and before we do i think we should probably go through flip side really or flop side really quick uh just because we haven't really seen all the different buildings and stuff in this area so i figured that would probably be the best thing to do uh the first place we have on the very left of uh this floor is uh Merley's house but I'm actually going to come here a little later, probably the last building I visit, 
uh, because there is a reason I'm going to come here last, and I'll be doing a small little side quest at the end of this tour for the most part. Uh, so let's actually go up to this floor first. Uh, I think this is just where we uh, got the heart pillar um, before. This is how we unlocked, I think, the uh, fifth area of the game. So there's not really anything here of major notes. There are some things over there on the other side of this room, but I think that's just uh, where you could get the cooking disc, so I don't really need to bother with that. So yeah, there's not really anything here. Uh, there might be something else we'll come back for uh, once we unlock something, but until then, let's just uh, keep going with our exploration here. Uh, so next up we have the inn. Uh, the inn's a little bit different than it is in Flipside. Uh, I believe this character is called Inga. Welcome to Inga's Inn, where you can refill your energy tank in a single night. Sleep benefits the body and the soul. Studies show it even reduces stress. If that weren't enough, we make you a healthy breakfast to start your day off. You can choose one of three packages. The mushroom, the flower, or the star package. Which would you like? So yes, you can get different packages. Uh, basically, uh, this really only affects the type of item that you get at the uh, end of your stay. So uh, the most valuable item you'll get with the star package. I'm not sure what item we'll get. I want to say it's random, but I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. So we'll just have to wait and see what we get here. Uh, we got... Uh, did you sleep well? Your breakfast is ready, but just exactly where I put it is a secret. Run along now. Well, guess what? It's uh, over here. Oh, okay. It's a slimy shroom. So, I think this is the only way you can get this item. Let me just verify that. Uh, slimy shroom. Flop side in star package. So, yes. I'm glad we got that. We can make a recipe from this. So, uh, very happy to get that item. Uh, so yeah, you can get some uh, rare items from this place, uh, but if you pick the normal package, you won't get like a very rare item, you'll just get like a common item or something. Uh, this is basically just the elevator to the uh, top floor. Uh, there's nothing really to note here right now. Um, I'll go ahead and go up here just for fun. Because, if you remember, the tower on the flip side is actually where you access all the levels, and... Uh, as you can see, that's not really something you can do right here. There are no levels to speak of. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of uh, pointless for right now, but I'm sure we'll be back there at some point. Every room has some kind of purpose, so that's not something you want to overlook at all. But yeah, let's go ahead and get out of here and go back to the uh, this floor again. Uh, this is Nolrim's house. Uh, you come here a few times for a uh, plot, and you can hear some quips from Nolrim if you want. That's really all that is. Nothing major to note from that. And here is the Flopside item shop. It's just like the uh, normal item shop in Flipside. It just has different items. And you can actually get Ultra Shroom Shakes here, which are pretty expensive, but this is a place where you can get them. And you can also get some other rare items as well. Uh, you can also get a gold medal if you want to get points, but I'm not going to worry about that. So that's pretty much what that is. Nothing major to note from this visit. Anyway, we're going to go down one floor. Actually, wait, should I maybe... Uh... I'll, I'll go back up and flip uh, in a minute. Let me just continue on with my investigation here. So we're on the first floor now. Uh, this house, uh, let's see what this house is. Ooh, what a lovely little house. Let's flip inside, shall we? Oh, what's this? It's a cooking disc. Cooking disc Y. So, uh, I want to say that goes to, uh, Delish. I'm not entirely sure, though, but, uh, yeah, we did find another one of those. Uh, there are a few others we can get as well, um, but, uh, I'm going to wait until I actually backtrack to those areas to get them, so I'm not going to worry about it just yet. But it is something I'll do at some point for sure. Uh, anyway, let's uh, continue on. Wait, can I actually go to the other side or I have to go all the way to the end? I think I have to go all the way to the end. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. This is Delicious House. This is where you make the recipes. 
uh, with Delish. Uh, let me actually put in some of these discs. Um, you have Cooking Disc W, so we'll put that in there. And we have Cooking Disc Y, so we'll put that in there as well. So, hooray for that. I want to say that uh, two of the discs go to Saffron, while uh, the others go to Delish. Because Delish has more recipes than what Saffron does. From my recollection, anyway. But I don't really need to say much about uh, this place. I've been going here already. Uh, basically, you can create recipes with two items as opposed to just one item. That's the main difference between Delish and Saffron. Uh, here... Who do we have here? This is, uh... Ooh, a painter guy. Ah, well, here you are, hmm? And where did you get in from, huh? This is no place for someone who cannot appreciate the art. Someone like Vo... M Vo. Think you add better leave. Go away. Take off. Scoop. Be gone. Elez, huh? Yeah, he's weird. Uh, he's weird, and I don't like him talking to me that way. What's his, uh... I think this is a girl. Looks like a girl. Papa is moody, and that makes I'm a little odd to get along with sometimes. You date a man like him, but the marriage? No. That is what Mama said. Like she had to tell me something so obvious. Oh, uh, well. They're a nice little family enjoying their life, I suppose. I guess that's all you can really say. And you'll notice that uh, there's pretty much a uh, flop side counterpart to every flip side person. Uh, they just have like little little differences here and there. Uh, this is a locked shed. You cannot get in here. That's pretty much all I have to say about that. And over here we have ooh a card shop. A. Eh? I'm kind of interested to seeing what that's all about. And of course, if you go through here, you'll go to the Hall of Mirrors, which is the uh, normal warp back to flip side. So not much to really say about that. But let us check out this card shop, shall we? Hello, man. Yo, you're standing in Vondest Hopes, a card shop selling hope for coins. Never been here? Yeah, well, what we got here are your basic cop, cap, cop cards and catch card SPs. Cop cards are really awesome. They got characters on them. We sell cop cards for different prices depending on how, you know, rare they are. Use a catch card SP on your basic baddie and you'll capture the dude. These cards are good at catching your enemies, but you can only use them once. If you bring the cards you don't need here, I'll buy them off of you, no questions. You want to ear all that again, or what? Nah. Yo, what you need? So, um, it's basically like the same um, card shop that we saw before. You can buy a catch card, you can buy a catch card SP. Um, how much can you buy these for? A hundred coins, that's a lot. But, uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and buy it, actually. Just so I can get rid of some coins, honestly. That's the only reason why I'm doing that. Uh, no, I don't want any more. Uh, let me take a look at what's a uh, cop card. Oh, they actually give you... Oh, okay, this is cool. This is actually where you can buy uh, specific cards uh, if you don't have them at all. Which is nice. This way, if like there's one you don't have, you can just go ahead and buy it and come back later. I actually do like there is a way to do this, but... Uh, I can imagine it'll be very, very pricey. I'm not sure if, like, you can get these uh, cards for cheaper in other places. Really, I'm really not sure. Uh, but yeah, that's what that is. Uh, I'm also going to sell a card. I think I have a duplicate. I think I have, like, a Piranha Plant duplicate. Let me see if I can... Yeah, I do. I think that's the only duplicate I have. Um, oh, shoot, I don't want to go through... Wait, do I? I have all the cards now, I believe. Yeah, yeah, okay, I got both Cut and Dottie, so yeah. I was like, wait, I don't want to spoil what pixels we'll get soon. I was like, oh wait, we already got them. Not a big deal. Uh, so let me find that uh, Piranha Plants. Piranha Plant card, one, I think it goes as high as two coins, yes. Okay. And it did just sell one, right? Yeah, okay, we're good. So yeah, that's the card shop. Actually, wait, I'm gonna go back in really quick. I th something looks suspicious in here, which I really should be doing this in every single building anyway. It looked like I'd go through here, but no. I think, uh... Okay, nope, we're good. We're good, so let's leave.